Line of Boston tomorrow night, you're going to notice that the lights on the Prue will be orange. And this is all part of the Prudential Center's 31 Nights of Light program. And joining us on the couch this evening to talk about the significance of those orange lights is Leo Sarkissian, who's the executive hey. director of the ARC of Massachusetts. Thanks for coming in tonight. Great to Leo. be with you tonight, Paul so and Leo. What is this all about? So we're, we're excited to be chosen along with, you know, other nonprofits and some examples like Mass Audubon and mm -hmm. uh, Habitat. Um, but we're going to basically tell people, come out of the cold. It's pretty tough weather out there. Sure. And let's get warm with the holiday spirit. And we're going to be hanging out there between 5 and 6.30 mm -hmm. in the center area of the Prue, telling them about the ARC, uh, trying to make some connections with maybe their communities, uh, helping them become more aware about just welcoming people and the achievements of people with disabilities. Yeah. Tell us so. about the ARC. For those who don't sure. understand the scope of what it does, how important is this organization? It's for people with intellectual and sure. physical disabilities. Sure. So we have been around since 1954, mm -hmm. and we've been part of every major achievement. So, for example, when you talk about schools and education, the ARC both nationally and in Massachusetts was in the lead of that fight with you know, other organizations in, in Mass. We worked with Mass Advocates for Children, for example. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, closure of big facilities and moving forward homes in the community. And today we're fighting for people really having more self-direction. Mm -hmm. They may want to continue living in their neighborhood. They don't want to necessarily move in a group home that's four towns away. Employment. That's a big deal for us today, trying to help advance that. And we have a history of fighting for that. But as society changes, becomes more open. One of the programs that Paula mm -hmm. looked at was Operation House Call. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's helping doctors, nurses, other allied health professionals understand how to work with people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. And we should talk about, there's a WBZ connection with the yes, ARC yeah. of Mass, because in this very studio where we do our broadcast every night, Rex Trailer, the yes. famous <laughs> TV cowboy, there and here is. we have video of him. That's, oh, that's great. Uh, did his show Boomtown, <laughs> and he played a very special role in the early days of the ARC. What did Rex do? So, in fact, that aligns with this 31 Nights of Light in our uh, public awareness. Rex was probably, for, for our organization and statewide, the first person to bring public awareness for people with intellectual mm -hmm. and other disabilities, physical, developmental. But one of the big things, as you know, is he was the first one to allow kids with disabilities to be in a studio audience. Right. Before that, in fact, he, I remember him telling me before he passed away, he had to argue with his producers and others at the station because they thought, well, hold it, there's a stigma there. In a time when people really hid those oh, children, he put oh, them my on God. TV. Yes. In the and, then, yeah. and then did this wagon train to so the that's state another house thing. for parents' so, rights? Right, right, so that was the first step. And then the second step was, you know what, let me help publicize this more and um, let's do a wagon train from Greenfield, Berkshire would have been too long, would have been two weeks, but they literally went, believe it or not, from Greenfield to the State House, and then the Lieutenant Governor came out to greet the wagon train, but every night he would do like a show, like a medicine show and whatever, mm. and then every night here there would be reels wow. coming in. Yes. So you would be covering it, you know, at WBZ, how the wagon train was doing. You can imagine. I the think exposure. we're 25 years now from the Americans with Disabilities yes. Act. Yes. What would you say is the biggest remaining goal for an organization like the ARC? Is it wow. employment? What is it? Well, I, I, you know what? I'm going to still say the biggest thing, which is a little more ethereal than that, is civil rights and acceptance. Mm. I, I still think, I think a lot of people are in our corner now and people are realizing that. But I think that affects then employment. It affects how people in the medical profession treat someone. It affects people, you know, we have some great special education, but some educators don't want kids with disabilities in their class still. Mm. So I think there's still this acceptance piece. And you know what? As human beings, we all have a piece of insecurity in us. And I think the more we accept people with disabilities, the more we accept ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I think we add some value for everyone as we help people accept those we serve. Okay, well, those orange lights tomorrow night on top of the crew are going to be a good reminder of all the good the ARC does. Leo Sarkisian, thanks for being in tonight. My pleasure. We, we appreciate, appreciate it.